There's a building in there. I'll show you people inside there if you want to see what's going on in there. I got to warn people that I'm recording in case they don't want to be recorded, though, so give me a second. Kind of the agreement that we're all on. So I just will show you this room and where we've been staying for the last... I can't believe that we came here yesterday. It seems like it's been here for four days. Don't know what the hell's going on. Can I can I record in here? Anybody? Everybody? Nobody's anti that. So, this is all our supplies. Uh, very messy. If you wanted to take a nap, I slept underneath that table. Tried to get an hour in here and there. Uh, McKeon doing something. Critical think. Jonathan's over here. What are you doing? We're doing a little uh, backup on the Nice. So we'll go ahead and come in here and partake in this uh, experiment. Awesome. So, there you go. Thank you so much. All right. <clears throat> Glasses back on to be outside. <laughs> okay. Christian Ahmed, wait, wait for your turn. Uh, thank you, Christian, for the question. Miss and go ahead. Okay, guys, I'm revisiting the infamous green screen on the first live they did. Um, they didn't show the 24-hour sun on that one, if you remember, but he showed the sun due south in all of its glory. <laughs> I noticed, uh, listening back to it, that I heard this click sound and then some magics happen. Well, there was more than one thing that happened anyway. So uh, I heard a very pronounced click noise. So that could have been a mouse click in software. They could have been using some hardware to flick, uh, to change into a green screen. We're going to have a bit of a look at that. Okay, I'm going to run the click clip a few times. And I'll put some arrows and um, I'll explain what I'm saying and see if you can see it as well. But um, there was no green screen prior to this, and it was not long after this click noise that we get the green screen. And we see some funny things happen when that click goes. Okay, first thing you're gonna see is these mountains, they jump to the left as soon as the click happens. Then you see this glare come across his jacket as soon as the glare happens. And then when you look at the sun, You'll see the sun is sort of like in appears in a position and then retracts back over to the right um, to where it ends up. So I nearly wasn't going to bother doing this video, but uh, I was listening to a Dustin Nemo's video and um, he had some girl on there. I don't know what she was doing, moderating or whatever what she was doing. But she was flicking the switch. She was like a late like allowing someone to talk. Anyway, I heard that click again. I thought, that's virtually the same sound as I heard on the TFE video with the switching sound. So it's either a mouse click or a, or a hardware switch, uh, which I think I've already said anyway. But, um, yeah, so I nearly wasn't going to do this video. <laughs> so I don't get many views, you know. I, I end up, I put a video out and I end up having to deal with more trolls. It's uh, it's not, not a real lot of fun. So... Um, you know, anyway, I might be out for a while for uh, circumstances unforeseen. So this might be my last video for a while anyway. Might have to even get off the net and put it back on later. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm not on here to tell you about all that. But, um, yeah, I'll just show a couple of things, um, what you can do. You know, like if you're a live streamer and you do ABS, there's a plug-in for that called Teleport. I haven't looked right into it because I don't intend to do live streams and it's like a waste of time to me, but I thought you guys that do live streaming, you might be able to look into this. Uh, 
have a go at telepore. Uh, the other one was, um, what was it called again? The, the Black Magic ATEM Mini Pro. Uh, that's a hardware thing. Yeah, that looks freaking pretty good. <laughs> and, and being Black Magic, you know, it's sort of, uh, you, you think that might be their uh, hardware of choice. Anyway. And then I'll switch over to the ATEM. And now when I hit one of the input buttons, it goes green instead of going red. And that has not changed the active angle. This is the program out, and this is now the preview. So as I click on a different button on here, that loads into the preview window, but the program, what's going out to the audience, doesn't change. That doesn't change until I hit either the cut or the auto button. So right now it's set to cut, so I'll just hit cut, and that switches over to the other input. Let's switch over to camera two, and this time I'll do auto, and it's gonna do a cross dissolve. This format allows you more control over what's going to air. Not only can you choose the camera angle, but you could build in a lower third, you could put in a graphic, you could put in a green screen effect. You can do all kinds of things in the preview, getting it ready to go to air, and then you hit the button to take that to air. Or again, if you're switching by yourself, then it's a lot easier to just hit the button once and have it switch. Okay guys, I'll leave a link in the description to the TFE video where it goes click uh that'll be a timestamp link make sure you download it because as soon as they see this video they're going to go in and sound edit it and take that click noise out of it uh, i'll leave some links to the videos uh to this atm mini pro and uh to teleport as well so uh i'll leave you with uh the tfe click sound and that'll be me i'm out thanks for watching guys I'm out and oops and there you go everyone it's uh this 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 is also uh midnight in Ushuaia right now Steve so here we go um <clears throat>